Hey YouTube, you go rocks my seven coming at you with a scrap deck profile. Um, I played this a while ago and I top 16 with it at a Lafayette regional and got my invite with it. However, the build is a lot different because Redox came out, so you can now Redox Scrap Dragon, and there's a lot more currents, and you need to play more monsters. So there's just a lot more monsters now in general, but still not overly much. Like, well, that wasn't good grammar, but still. Um, the deck did change, and when the new format rolls around, I'll be doing an update of this deck. This is just um, a deck profile before the ban list that I wanted to show you guys, so yeah, I'll get started. Three Chimera, uh, it's the Debris Dragon, the one card Scrap Dragon for with Beast. Um, it's the card you want to have, and it's just good. It's the best uh, Scrap Monster. Three Beast, it's the number one tuner of the deck because with Chimera it makes Scrap Dragon. He's the best Scrap Storm target. Um, well, him and Goblin, but he's the best because it sets up the Chimera play rather than like Goblin Golem. And uh, yeah, he's 16 and searchable by like Scrap Yard and stuff, so he's good. Two Goblin. Uh, it can't restore a battle, so it can help stall. Its own effect can add back a Chimera every now and then. Um, but with Golem, he's just uh, a Scrap Dragon that's pretty much infinite. And he's, he's good just because he can't die and he's Chimera target. And he's an Earth for Redox. One Golem, he sucks to draw, so I only play one. Uh, you can dump it with Scrap Storm, pitch it with Redox, and pretty much always use it. You bring it back with Scrap Dragon, and yeah, you just make plays. Two Maxi, uh, plus off them going off, so you don't lose. And two Redox, I only own two currently. Um, in my updated build, I'm going to play three, but right this one, I'm playing two. Uh, I'm playing three in my updated build because it's actually a lot different. There's more monsters. And this one, two is the better number. Like, even if you have three, don't play three in this build because there's just not enough monsters. But in the other build, I'm going to upload when the ban list rolls around. If everything goes right, it'll be playing more monsters. So, yeah. And two Thunder King because I didn't have, like, an Orthros that I wanted to play. And I think I wanted to play a third Maxi or something like that. But Thunder King is amazing, and I might just keep this in. It's super good. Just one card against Prophecy. But again, it depends how the new format goes. Two duality, consistency. Uh, yeah. Three Scrap Storm, best card in the deck. Um, well, besides Chimera. It's, this is the best spell in the deck. Because, like, depending on how it's used, it can be a plus one. Um, a lot of people just consider it a plus one when it's actually an even advantage wise, but you're adding Chimera to hand. So that's a play that can result in a lot more pluses than, like, imaginable, technically, because it's just a Scrap Dragon. So, it's really just, it's a setup card, and it makes bad hands good, and good hands better. Um, three Scrap Yard, after playing the deck and topping with it, I realized two wasn't enough, because sometimes you still didn't get Beast, and you'd lose that game because you didn't get Beast. You will always get Beast in this deck, because, like, three Scrap Yard, and three Beast. One Mind Control, it's broken in this deck, pop their monsters with Scrap Dragon. Avarice, you only get so many Scrap Dragons, so you play this. Um... Heavy, Dark Hole, Reborn. I choose to play Dark Hole just because I'm a fan of it. Uh, if you want to play Book Over, that's cool too, but whatever. Dark Hole's not favored right now, but come new format, it should be better. One Judgment. Um, no warning because I couldn't find mine. That sounds weird. But this was just a rough build that I played for Yu Gi Oh! Day. Um, three Fiendish Chain. This is really good in scraps because you negate their effect, and if they synchro or exceed with the monster, this stays on field and it's a free scrap dragon pop. And no matter what, once you negate the effect, this card's pretty much dead. So you play this over Breakthrough Skill, because overall, this card's just better in this deck. And you don't main Veil because it's not an Earth. Uh, and you need more Earth monsters and traps. Uh, two Bottomless. It's a good trap card. Two D Prison. I, I don't have Mirror Forces because my friend's borrowing them. So just play D Prison, but you should probably play uh, Mirror Force over it. Two Tarantula, good trap. One call. Uh, you should probably play more than one call, like two. Because if you bring back like a golem with this, or something, anything pretty much you can synchro with, then call stays on the field and it's a free pop with Scrap Dragon. And it can bring back Scrap Dragon, which is just big recurrence. And a Starlight. I don't like this card, you probably shouldn't play it. Extra deck, I mean, it's not completed, but I just wanted to uh, show it. I mean, nothing really good uh, like... 
Uh, I'd like to say I only play two Scrap Dragon, but I have this blemish right here. Uh, I, if you haven't seen my trade binder and you have an ulti first Scrap Dragon you want to get rid of, uh, check out my binder, because I need one more ulti first. So, yeah, but you obviously play three Scrap Dragon, the Stardust, or the Sternin, or whatever it is. Archfiend, this is actually not a completed extra deck, because my extra deck's everywhere right now. Crimson, Blader, and Pearl. You had to play a uh, Queen Dragon Jin though. It's a reborn for Scrap Dragon. And that's all I have in this extra deck. That's why I usually don't show extra decks, is they're always anywhere. Unless I'm about to enter a tournament, I don't really have my extra deck completed. But yeah, this was just a short deck profile that I wanted to upload about scraps. Um, when the new format rolls around, there'll be a more uh, defined deck profile. But I hope you enjoyed either way. Uh, feel free to give advice. It's been a while since I played this deck, so any help is good. And um, yeah, this was Yugi Rocks 97. Uh, bye, YouTube.